okay, so we wrote these um, acid ionization reactions, base ionization reactions, um, but now let's look at the conjugate acid-base pair. So in this first one, we have an acid, HNO2 is the acid, and water is the base. So on the other side of the reaction, if HNO2 is the acid, then its conjugate base is going to be this guy. So the difference between the acid and the base is the acid has an extra hydrogen. So over here, if this is the base, then this guy is going to be the acid. The acid's going to have an extra hydrogen. So the only difference between the conjugate acid-base pairs is that they're on opposite sides of the reaction and the acid has an extra hydrogen. So down here, if this is the acid, this is its conjugate base. If this is the acid, this is its conjugate base. Um, and, and you guys can pause the video and try the last one. If NH3 is the base, this is the one that looks closest to it. It has an extra hydrogen on it, so that's the acid. Water's an acid, so this guy has to be the base. So in the next section, um, take a minute. I'll do the first one with you, and then you should pause the video and kind of work on the rest of them. So on, and this is just the left and the right sides don't really have anything to do with each other. Um, so over here at the H, HClO4, these are all your acids, and then they want you to write the conjugate base. So the only difference between the acid and the base is the acid has an extra hydrogen. So the base is going to be ClO4, I should say has an extra hydrogen with a plus, so it has an extra H plus. So if you, if you were neutral and you got rid of a plus sign, now all of a sudden you're negative. So this guy is ClO, um, ClO4 minus. All you're doing is removing the hydrogen. On the other side, they give you the base and they're asking you for the acid. And so all you're doing is adding an H plus. So I'm gonna add an H plus to that guy. And so I end up with HCN. The charge disappears because I have a plus one and I have a minus one, so now it's neutral. So pause the video and you work these out and then come back and check your answers or just keep pretending you, pretend you pause the video. <laughs> That's fine too. So this guy becomes HS minus because I'm just removing one of the hydrogens. This is pH three and this guy is CO32 minus. So if, if you're getting confused with the charges, when you're going from an acid to a base, you're going down a charge. If you're going from the base to an acid, you're going up plus one. And we're just adding one hydrogen. Some of these you can, you can remove more than one hydrogen, like this guy, he can take off, he'll go another step and take off another one that's called the polyprotic acid. We'll look at that near the middle of this chapter. Um, so to go from the base to the acid, you're just gonna add uh, an H plus. So this is HSO4. Now I only have one minus. Add an H plus over here. It was neutral, so now it becomes H3O plus. And this guy was a minus one, so now it will be neutral. So now I have H2CO3. All right, so you can practice those. There's a couple more of those for homework. Um, and this problem, they say that HS, the uh, hydrogen sulfite ion, HSO3 minus, is amphiprotic. It means it can act as an acid or a base. And they want you to write two reactions. One where it's acting as an acid and one where it's reacting as a, as a base. And so you're going to have two reactions here. You have HSO3 minus plus water. Let's see what happens. It's going to reach equilibrium. And then you also have HSO3 minus plus water and see what happens. So in one problem, this one, treat this guy as an acid and that's the base. And then in this one, treat him like he's the base and that's the acid. So take a minute and, and, and work on that. Pause the video, see what happens. The acid, or don't pause the video, that's fine too. An acid's gonna donate the proton over here. And so, whoop, disappeared. <laughs> and so on this side, you're gonna end up with SO, so if it's an acid, it donates a proton, right? So it's gonna get rid of one of those protons. SO3, two minus, and you end up with hydronium. The hydronium ion, wow. So if that's the acid, that's the base, then this guy is the base, and this guy is the acid on the other side. And then for this one, now water is the acid, so he's gonna donate the proton over there. So you end up with H2SO3, and water now doesn't have, is missing a hydrogen, so it's OH minus. And so this guy is the base, and this is the acid in that problem.